someone with a disability and being involved with the disability movement for many, many years. Um, I had never heard of anyone really doing this kind of work. So when you... Really? Well, not on a broaded scale. Yeah. Little individual things. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, so I, I really wanted to be part of that. I also wanted to be part of it coming from someone who is older now than um, the people now most involved in the disability movement who are younger than I. Disability to begin with is not talked about in greater social movements mm -hmm. in the way that, let's say, sexism or racism, and I'm really glad those things are talked about as much as they are, because unfortunately we did still live in a society where sexism and racism are alive and well. I think something like SINs in this project hopefully will open up the dialogue to the greater community, society, and not just keep it among us crips who already know we're hot. I want us to be looked at as part of the thread in the bigger quilt called life. And I, you know, I, I complain about being in the work for 30 years, but I have to say we have also come a long way because if people know anything about disability history in this country, people like you when I lived in institutions and we're not part of, of being out on the streets mm -hmm. and living our lives. And I think we need to keep exciting ourselves so we will keep being a fabric of life because we are. Mm -hmm. And I think the more we're out there, the more It'll be, it'll be just taken for granted. Mm -hmm. I, I, in some way, just want to be taken for granted and just be seen as sexy when I want to be seen sexy. But, but in general, just leave me alone and let me live my life. And I think that's what my people with disabilities want. We're hot! <laughs> God, we're hot! <laughs> oh, what about that for a message?